show, please. Say hello to Louis Cato. Everybody, open stay human. Right there. <laughs> there you go, Louis. Going good? Going good. Tonight, we have an extraordinary guest. Ethan Hawke is here this evening. All that. All that. Yeah. There you go. Amazing. Always wonderful to talk to. Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend a lot of my time right over there, carefully harvesting the day's biggest, freshest news vegetables, finely slicing and arranging them in a Le Creuset casserole, drizzling it all with a fine Xerais family corfi olive oil, then gently roasting it to perfection to serve you the glorious and velvety ratatouille that is my monologue. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, folks, I wake up in the chipotle I broke into last night, scrape the lettuce out of a discarded burrito bowl, steal a carrot from a baby and punch a seagull for its pickle to present the hobo salad bar of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, there's a new trend in the world of do-it-yourselfers, building your own coffin. So this is either a life-affirming hobby to confront your own mortality and live in the moment, or the ultimate elderly passive aggression. Don't worry about canceling lunch again, son. I'll just stay home and continue building my own coffin. <laughs> I suppose... I suppose... This might go faster if I had any grandchildren to help me. <laughs> Some people are doing this to help prepare for death. Some to remove a hassle for the family and say it's easier on the budget than buying a commercially made coffin. But caution, you should make sure it's sturdy enough to hold the person. <laughs> well, that would have been nice to hear before I blew $12.99 on my origami death carton. <laughs> You can microwave it, though. You can microwave it. <laughs> Meanwhile, airlines are always on the lookout for cutting-edge, innovative ways to make life awful. So <laughs> they'd like you to meet the double-decker plane seat. Perfect for anyone saying, flying economy is already great, but I wish my face was closer to ass. <laughs> Meanwhile, it rained this weekend in New York City, and Drew Barrymore has gone viral for sharing her experience of it. <laughs> Whenever you can go out into the rain, do not miss the opportunity! What a lovely, heartwarming, and uplifting psychotic break. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Thank you. Meanwhile, in Hawaii, a beachside wedding reception was interrupted by a massive wave. Jim? <laughs> well, they got their something blue. <laughs> Meanwhile... Really? Okay. Sure. Meanwhile, in New Zealand, there have been calls to tighten an actual law that up till now has allowed people out camping to, let's say, drop a steaming kiwi in a field, <laughs> as long as the person can show they had reasonable grounds for believing they were not being observed. Reminds me of that inspirational throw pillow, poop like nobody's watching. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ethan Hawke.